Hey guys, and welcome back to the garden. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Blanca. So today's video, Sunday, February 26th. I know it's been a few days since my last video, but we're still really, really busy out here in the garden. Today's video, I want to just show you what we've um, what we've done the last few days since my last video. I also want to show you guys um, on the out on the outer corners, like on the outer areas here of my pool, on my landscaping, what um, you know, like what I've done. A lot of you have messaged me and said that you know this is bringing you guys lots of ideas for your own gardens. So I want to start off this video by just walking around through the outer parts and showing you exactly what I did before I get to the part where. I need your help <laughs> so um yeah lots of changes here in the garden but there's an area of concern and i really need you guys advice uh before moving forward um it's down in my orchid section and we're gonna get to that in just a minute let me first show you guys um the you know just what i've done i'll give you guys like an exact look kind of like a more in-depth look out here of what i've um what i've done in the in the landscaping around my pool and also, this is probably my favorite spot. I mean, I love the look. Looking in, like, of the pool, of the birds of paradise. Like, I love it. It's so relaxing to me. So, anyway, this is why I'm standing over here. So you guys can, can see how, just how pretty, pretty it looks. At least it looks beautiful to me. All right, so let me start off in this corner here. Let's see. So, when I was thinking of what to add to this area. I always knew that I wanted to um, give it kind of like a tropical look. For those of you that are new and don't know, I do live in South Florida. So over here, you know, we're very tropical and that's the kind of um, look I wanted for uh, the area around my pool, kind of like a tropical oasis out here. Um, I'm still not completely done. Every day I come up with new ideas, but for now, this is where we are. So we went ahead and um, I really wanted to bring Monsteras out here to the garden and we were uh, told that these monsteras here are sun loving so we decided to add uh, monsteras like all over <laughs> uh, normally these are start crawling or even climbing up the tree so i don't want them to be climbing too much because i don't want my orchids to get covered in the monsteras so i'm gonna we're gonna have to give this a little bit of maintenance uh, but for those that are interested in uh, like this kind of look these are like the the monsteras that we chose to um to put here all right, so aside from the monsteras, the other um, plant that I brought in was a birds of paradise. And this is a white version, um, which I was told was more sun tolerant than like the, um, the orange version or the red version. There's different versions of birds of paradise. The white is one that's more sun tolerant. That's what I was told. <laughs> so that's what we got. Um, I think that we have a total of 11 just all around. And then oh, the, monster the Monsteras, I think we got like 15 of those. So uh, this is pretty much all we added new. And then everything else that was done um, was just, um, we just got rid of uh, like bromeliads and other type of um, plants that I had here probably for the past 15 or 18 years. I don't even know. We've had that. We've had the same landscaping for a really long time. So we were due. And then uh, what we did is that we got rid of all of the mulch and we added the pebbles now i can't even tell you how much um pebbles how, you know it was like truckloads and truckloads of, of of these pebbles so i'm not sure i know that i'm here like on like close to me there's like a rock place um so that's where we that's where we got these and then we tight we closed everything up kind of like to get to do the border we created the border with a rubber kind of like a rubber um thingy from home depot <laughs> i don't know the name <laughs> uh but it was either that or stone and or something concrete which was going to be way too expensive so the the rubber here does its does its job what well, they did my landscapers did this part well they pretty much did a lot we just kind of you know helped however we could but um uh they dug up like all this and the rubber piece just goes like dug inside so it's a it's a cost effective or a, a, you know this is cheaper less expensive i want to say than your concrete border or any other border like that so we um, went with the plastic and yeah yeah this is where we are now so let me just um go through the front 
and show you. You know, and spring is starting over here with all this heat. Um, everything, everything is pretty much growing, budding up. So I'm very excited about that. I've got lots of new orchids in spike. So there you go. <clears throat> Just a closer look for you guys that messaged me. And thank you for your comments. Everybody um, really loves uh, the look. of the landscaping around my pool. Lots of cattleyas, you guys. Lots of cattleyas in, in full sheath. Let's see. There you go, this one is still, this one's still holding up. This is a pretty girl. All right, so let me just keep showing you guys. Now, if you're new to my channel, <clears throat> I always have to say that because I keep repeating myself. <laughs> Um, remember, I am in South Florida, so uh, growing orchids on trees and outdoors is very, I mean, I don't want to say easy, but it is, um, you know, it's doable. It's perfect for them. Uh, we have great climate over here. It's hot and humid most of the year, so our orchids love it, and they do, they do amazing. If you live somewhere that's a little bit cooler than us, which is probably everywhere else, uh, these Dendrobium novales are good, will be good growers for you guys because these are really tolerant when the weather, when the temperatures drop and they are just uh, so pretty. I mean, if you guys love this, I do have a tag somewhere. This one's called the Dendrobium Sweet Pinky Love. Lots of growers um, that ship have them and they ship via eBay. I know Springwater Orchids has them. Um, Carmela orchids has them and they ship all over the United States. So these are really, really good to, um, to mount. If you're ever thinking of mountain orchids, Dendrobium nobilis are amazing. All right, back to my garden or back to here. Lots of monsteros around the, the well. I mean, you can see the pipes there. I have, um, I have well water. So uh, we have a well that we can't cover because every once in a while, it stops working, so we have to go in there and, and fix that. So we can't cover anything, so hopefully the monsteras will be fine and they'll, they'll do its job. And, and yeah, so you can see every so, you know, every few feet we do have the birds of paradise. Now, why I decided to go with these plants, um, first of all, I really wanted to bring tropical out here. So birds of paradise, I mean, are just so tropical to me. I mean, they look, I love them. They'll, they're gonna grow really, really tall. So these will get um, these will get up to about 20 feet and spread out about 10 feet. And they are gonna bring lots of privacy to this area, which is what, what we were also looking for, something that will create privacy and something that will be beautiful and tropical. So Birds of Paradise, um, I think was the best uh, choice as far as the plants go. And, um, and then the Monsteras, I just love the way that they, that they look. And, Kind of bring that that pretty monstera vibe out here so so yeah that's the uh that's the look for around my pool now to where my concern <laughs> why i am out here today so you guys my orchid section look at it <laughs> it has been cleaned all the ficuses that were growing that were covering all of my orchids and creating these really 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 nice shade are gone and now i am super worried that my orchids are just getting drilled it's too much sun so we are heading um going over to home depot it's not even probably about already 9 a.m i was out here earlier um so 9 a.m this is the sun that we're getting this is not even like that 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 strong strong afternoon florida sun 12 p.m i mean the amount of light and the amount of sun that's over my orchids is crazy uh, so before I decided to um, to do this, my orchids were not getting enough sun. My my vandas were not blooming because it was just too too um, too dark in there. So I thought this was going to be a good idea, <laughs> but now it's too bright. It's like you can never win. So uh, this morning I did come out here. I had to move some orchids because they already got a little bit of sun damage. So my thing is, I'm going to go over to Home Depot in a few minutes uh, once I, I wrap up this video. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and I need to find either some type of shade cloth, which is not gonna look good. So this is this is my idea. 
we are going to, and you can already see the holes here. I mean, we are going to put some plants in here. I think, um, I told, I, you know, I'm going to, um, I told my husband, I wanted to do the birds of paradise because they grow so tall and they do offer lots of shade once they're full grown. We are going to put them here in these two, these, these two holes. So that's going to help with all the light. But in the meantime, you know, they're not going to grow overnight. So in the meantime, I need to find something to do over here. So shade cloth, maybe another one of these. I'm getting rid of this hopefully today. Um, this grow gazebo is going out. Um, the other grow gazebo is in here. I mean, it does, it does provide a little bit of shade, but it's not, let me just get, I can't even, I've moved everything so much. I can't even go in here. And then this grid is here because they were digging those holes. So it still looks a mess. I, I mean, I'm still not done. So, all right. So this grow gazebo I got at Lowe's. For those of you that know about this, this is um, pretty much for anybody that's new. Uh, this grill gazebo is from Lowe's. It does have a little bit of shade on the inside, but it doesn't hold that many orchids. So I had two in here until one of them got damaged because of the fronds falling over it. So getting rid of this today, and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do in here. One of the things I was telling my husband is I can probably get like a little greenhouse and put in here. But I don't know how that's gonna how that's gonna look. I'm just gonna zoom you guys out a little bit. So I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think I should do? I'm so confused. So getting rid of this, should I try to get a greenhouse, like a small little greenhouse in here where I can put some orchids in, or should I just stick to the original um, idea? Well, not the original idea, because the original idea is just to plant um, those birds of paradise let them grow and get them shade which i'm gonna need something in the meantime to cover the orchids i mean the vandas are are okay but i don't think that the, the sun that they're getting is 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 okay because it's just gonna be so much you see how everything is open now all this is changing i am putting i am putting um like the hedge all around the hedge is also going to give us a little bit of shade but it's going to take time to grow because we're getting them like four feet because if you get them 15 feet or not 15 feet if you get them like um what are they saying six feet tall or something they're like 15 dollars each and we have to get hundreds to cover the whole property so we have to start we have to start small and just kind of let them grow but in the meantime in the meantime everything is getting just drilled and this is like i said this is 9 a.m sun and it's already like super super bright so I need ideas. I need your comments. I need your suggestions. I'm heading over to Home Depot now. Um, maybe I will uh, film in there and kind of like uh, show you guys like what what we got, depending on what you guys suggest. Um, and then um, kind of like do a, a little video and show you guys what we decided to do. Um, but I really need some type of guidance here, you guys. I mean, everything is budding. So that's that's amazing because like I said, we cleaned everything out and look at just all of the bright. And I did want this. I did want um, all those hedges, overgrown hedges um, out of here. So I just, you know, didn't really think ahead of all the light I was gonna be getting. So yeah, I need your, your recommendations. Of course, this looks like a mess because they just finished um, cutting all this about two days ago and then they had to come out here and and again, when I say they, you know, the, the just the, the landscaping company that that are gardeners and stuff with some guy that came out with a huge machine and took out all of the wood uh, stumps that were all around. Because since we're going to fill this up with hedges, we had all that wood in between and that couldn't be that couldn't be um, planted. So I think my hedges are coming in hopefully by next week. Again, we're getting them little four feet. And there it's gonna take time for them to grow so in the meantime i am gonna leave this video right here tell me what you guys think what should i do so it's either um like a shade cloth all all over which is gonna look probably ugly but will protect my orchids for now until my trees get bigger um so it's shade cloth it's like a little another gazebo right over here to replace the the, the old gazebo that broke or some type of little greenhouse I'm looking around if you guys have any recommendations on little greenhouses. Um, something, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like greenhouses, 
um the ones that have gone in the pot in the past are like a heat box you know keep in mind that it does get really really hot so i need if i get a greenhouse i need something that's going to stay cool something that's not too crazy expensive that i can just put here in the middle maybe like size like i would say like a 10 by 10 is a size that i need let me see let me just you see something like a like a little 10 by 10 that won't look too bad and won't be too um crazy expensive because that's option number two which is um just getting a little greenhouse and trying to fit as many orchids as i can in there uh so shade cloth greenhouse and just um my other thing is just uh i don't know move them move them <laughs> i don't know what to do move them under my terrace for a little while but yeah this is this is where we are right now you guys so let me know in the comments let me know what you guys think in the meantime, I'm going to run over to uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, and see what I can figure out. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday, um, and I will chime in soon. Let's see how we we get this, this issue <laughs> resolved. So uh, have a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day here today, and I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.